So in this video what I want to do is I'm going to actually update one of the existing records within my table. So we've already seen how to, to view the entire table. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in select and then the asterisk from, let's see, we'll do this from the books table that I have. And I'll go ahead and run this and we'll see all of the data we've got. So now we might want to come back in and say, you know what, we need to update something. If you look here at book ID number 11, I may say that I've got a price now where I know the binding. So we're going to go ahead and update. Let's go ahead and update the binding. This is going to be a paperback book. And so when I want to use a paperback book, what I want to do is I want to update binding to be the letter P. And so how to do that is we're going to go ahead and come up here to my commands and we're going to use the update command. So what I'm going to do is just type in update and then I'm going to go ahead and tell it what table to update. So I'll just type update books. And then what I need to do is I need to figure out, okay, what field I want to update. And so the update one that I want to do is the binding. So we're going to type in the keyword called set. So we're going to set, and then I'm going to type in the field name, which is binding. And we're going to use the equal sign, so a space equals. And then I'm going to type in the value that I want it to be. So I'm going to use a single quote here because this is not a number. So I'll use a capital P and end that with a single quote. And then I'm going to go ahead now and say, okay, if, if I were to run this just as it is and hit run, unfortunately what would happen is it would set every binding for every record to letter P. And that's not what I want to happen. I want it to only update one of my records. So I need to pick a condition that I can look at and say, okay, you wanted me to update binding to P or paperback. Okay, now I need to set what condition, which record do we want to use. And so I can pick any of these fields that I've got. Since the primary key is going to be my only field that is unique, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the book ID, where book ID is going to equal 11. So I'm basically going to type that in. I'm just going to type in where, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in the field name, book underscore ID equals, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in the single quotes, 11. And end that with a semicolon. So it's a real simple to understand and read set of code or language or script that we've got here to work with. Just going to say update books, which is my table, set binding to equal capital P, where my book ID is 11. So that's going to be very specific and it's going to only work on this particular record. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And you'll see it says one row is updated. Now I'm going to come back and say select and then the asterisk from books and we're going to go ahead and hit run and you'll see now on my book ID 11 my binding has now been set to a capital P so I can use this over and over again to update the data and I can overwrite data that's already existing as well in my tables by using those commands the update and the set and then pick a condition where a certain condition exists so this is a video on updating um, data within my table that's already existing